when you're ready to go fly, you gotta make sure you got your inspections right. Kenny T, Kilo Tango, I'm gonna tell you how to remember what inspections you need and what they are. Here we go. Remember this acronym, AVATES. That's what's gonna help you remember what inspections you need to have done when you go fly. So the first one is the A. The A is for your annual. Well, when you have to have the annual done. I'm gonna give you one guess. Annually, right, because it's every 12 months. That makes sense. Now, who can do your annual inspection? Can an AMP do your inspection? Nope, can't. It has to be the inspection authority that can do it, so an IA. Next is VOR, VOR inspection. That's be done every 30 days. Here's the thing though, that's only if you're flying IFR. So it doesn't really have to happen if you're a private pilot flying VFR. But it's good practice to follow the flow and always remember ADA and do these same checks because if you're gonna be a private pilot and continue on, might as well know this stuff, right? Next thing is your 100 hour inspection. Your 100 hour has to be done if an airplane is used for hire. So if you're flying at a flight school, that's for hire. So the 100 hour has to be done and it can be done by an AMP. So an IA is a higher level of mechanic than a AMP. So the 100 hour, if you're at flight school, 100 hours happen a lot. So you're gonna have many, 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 many of those um, throughout the year um, that has to get done. Now you can overfly the 100 hour inspection by 10% if you're flying it to a location to be able to get the maintenance done on the airplane. All right, next is your altimeter pedostatic system. That's gonna be every 24 months and it's required for IFR flight, yep. Next thing is your transponder. Transponder is also every 24 months. I always think about my altimeter, pedostatic, and my transponder together as 24 months because the transponder uses altitude reporting. So they're gonna both be done at the same time. And generally, if you look at your inspection report, you'll see that they're generally done at the same time. Then you have your ELT. Your ELT has 12 months or one cumulative hour of use or half the battery life before it has to actually get replaced or changed. So you gotta check to make sure that none of those things have happened before you change it. And then your S for AV8s is your service bullets and ADs. So what are your ADs? Your ADs are airworthiness directives. And airworthiness directives are, um, I'm paraphrase what they are, but they're essentially recalls or mandatory maintenance that has to get done uh, by the manufacturer. And the FAA actually issues it if it's a known problem. And it is mandatory, so they have to get done. There's a few different kinds. There's an emergency uh, AD, which is required immediately before you can fly the plane again. A one-time AD, which is something that may be added to, um, well, it's one time. You do it once and it's done. And the other time is recurring. And that's one that has to be done every so often. That can be annually. It can be biannually. It just depends on what the actual AD is. And that can be looked up to know exactly what type of AD and when it has to be done. So there you go. AV8s. The acronym that's going to help you know all the inspections that you need to have done when you're checking the plane out to make sure you're good to fly. That's your annual, VOR, your 100 hours, your altimeter pedostatic system, transponder, ELT, and your service bulletins or your airworthiness direct. There it is. Kenny T. Kilo Tango.